You're listening to the Conference Board of Canada's Mental Health and COVID-19 series with Dr. Bill Howitt, Chief of Research, Workplace Productivity. Hi, Bill Howitt, Mental Health COVID-19, Conference Board of Canada. What we have talked about social connections and we've talked about the benefit of the social connections for your mental health. One strategy that can be helpful in promoting social connections and helping us to reduce our risk for feeling isolated or lonely is networking skills. Intentionally focusing on spending energy and resources on expanding our network, whether that's social or professional, and to feel more included. I'm going to use a mnemonic called CIRCLE. When I was in Wall Street, one of the things I used to do with the young developing bankers and folks who are looking to grow their business is to leverage networking, not only as a way to grow professionally, but as a way to build their community, to get more relationships, but to learn. So let's go through it. C. C in circle stands for community. Networking provides you the opportunity to intentionally go with intention to expand, to interact with different people by putting yourselves in positions where you may be not as comfortable. For example, uh, you know, signing on to now in this media world, different online communities, chat rooms, taking online courses, expanding your community so that you get to meet different people from different backgrounds, different experiences, different parts of the world. If we're in a global world right now, I'm taking a course at Yale, and there are people all over the world, and it's amazing, You're starting to expand my community, getting to meet new people. I, networking gives you an opportunity to be involved, the involvement part of it, and the more you feel involved with other people and interacting with other people, you have a chance to have more micro-social connections and lower your risk for loneliness and for feeling isolation. R, relationship building. Social connections happen through interacting with people, through coming up with common goals, common wants, common experiences, but networking gives you the chance to not only build communities and get involved, but to meet some really neat people that you might be able to develop social connections with that could eventually maybe even come uh, authentic connections that are valuable. And this can happen whether it's social in your community where you live, that you're trying to get to know more people, or professionally you want to expand your circle of influence by getting to know more people in your profession, in your career. C, the other C in circle is collaboration. The ability to, once you start to do networking, you can have the opportunity to start getting involved and sharing ideas and creating that ability to start working together for a purpose, like coming together, start networking, start meeting people, start taking on small projects that you start to collaborate and share. That moves to the L, learning. The wonderful thing about networking is by going out and listening to different people and interacting with different people, there's a huge opportunity for learning and personal growth and evolution. And the last is E. Networking allows you to evolve your yourself personally, that you can grow personally to evolve yourself by expanding your networks, whether they're social or professional. And as you start to evolve your community and your influence, when you have different needs, I'm at my part of my career where I built my network that to the point where I know a lot of different people in a lot of different sectors and that when I want to have an interaction, I go, oh, I know so-and-so, I can get to that. And your circle of influence, that six degrees of separation, you know, people that you want to interact with are not as far away, the bigger you can get your network. But the last thing I want to say in this is for me, my purpose for giving you this as an activity is something to be thinking about that you can be doing to expand your social connections. That'd be good for your mental health. That's where I kind of focus, as you know, from listening to these videos is on mental health. Uh, my belief is that by having something with intention that we're doing it, it is good for us. And I believe, you know, 
the more I can, when I'm managing and developing younger people, I spend a lot of time is putting networking as one of their primary personal developmental goals, because there's a lot of really cool people out there. And we're often one conversation away from meeting some cool, cool people. So add that to uh, your list of things that you may want to consider to do uh, that can be proactive. We're going to be in a, a time where we're going to be learning through different mediums. Uh, we may not be out socializing as much. Oh, hopefully with masks and protocols and people follow, we will. However, I do believe we can do networking with intention, starting to learn how to use these different mediums, whether there's, this is for short term or however long it is. I just think people need people. And the more we have an opportunity to expand and grow personally and professionally, that's, that's good for us. So with that, I will uh, wish you a, a good day. And uh, knowing that the nice weather is coming and the temptations have start to return to work, uh, I don't want to be a nag, but wear your masks, wash your hands, follow your protocols, vigilance, keep safe, help the people around you stay safe. It's just, it's going to be the little things going through this process as we go. So just keep that going. And I closing, I'll think networking can help charge your battery. I get excited when I meet new people. So, and, and those experiences. So with that, I'll, I'll say goodbye for today. Wishing you the best. Take care. All the best. Hi, Bill Howitt here. Hopefully you're finding these videos of some value. If you'd like to share these, on the lower right of your video, there's a icon you can click. You can send it through your social media feeds. Join the Conference Board of Canada social media feed so we can keep you up to date. And if you have ideas or suggestions, please leave your comment so we can consider them. And if you have things that you'd like us to speak to, I certainly will try to do all I can to help out. With that, have a wonderful day.